In 2x2, there are two methods that are beginner to intermediate. So there's Ortega and layer by layer. And today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the 2x2 two two using layer by layer. So in this method, you get a layer like this. Then you use one algorithm to get all the pieces of the right way around on the top. And then another to get them in the right place. Understanding the structure of the 2x2 two two is not too hard, as there's only one type of piece. So, for example, this orange, this green, and this white make up one corner piece, and there's eight corner pieces around the cube, and that's really all you need to know for structure. The first thing you need to do is pick a corner in the top. So it can be any one of these four corners, and I'm going to go for this one, which has white, green, and orange. So, because white is on the top here, that means that when the cube is completed, this side will be white. So you need to focus on this colour, and also choose one of the other colours. So in this case, I'm going to go for white and green. So now you've got your corner and your two colours, we need to find the other corner that also has those two colours. So we look around the cube, and this corner has white and green, which is what we want. But we want it on the bottom layer. So I'm just going to move it down like that. Now, when this cube is completed, this corner that we just found is going to go here, because you need to connect it with this white and this green. So what we're going to do is move that corner until it's under where it needs to go. So the top color is white, and we're looking for where the white is on this corner that we've just found. So it'll either be on the front, the right, or the bottom. In this case, it's on the bottom, we don't really want it there. So I'm going to move it down, cross two, and then up, and then move it back into place. So now we'll either have the white on the right or the front. In this case, we've got it on the right. So we want to move it down, across, and then up, and now it's connected. Alternatively, you could have the top color on the front. So in this case, we move it across, down, across, up, and now these two pieces are connected. So now that we've got these two pieces correct, we can move it so that we're focusing on this piece. And this piece has white and red, so again we need to find a corner that has white and red. And in this case it's here, white and red. And again we move it down to the bottom, under where it should be. So in this case, it's the white is to the right, so down, across, up. Now again, we can rotate the cube, so we're focusing on a new piece. So in this case, it's blue and white. So we need to find the blue and white corner, and it's not there, so it's on the bottom. And it's here, so white and blue. So we move it under where it should be, and again, it's on the right this time, which it commonly is. So, down, across, up. Now, sometimes you might get a case like this, where we're focusing on red and white, and the red and white corner is here, and I move it down, but when I do so, it messes up a corner that we've already done. So here, you want to use one of the three sets of moves you know, so I'll move across, down, across, up, and that should put the corner in the bottom layer, without messing up the rest. So white's on the bottom, so down, across, two, up, move it back, and then across, down, up. So now that you have a completed layer, you need to move it to the bottom of the cube, and now you have four corners left to solve. So you'll have one of seven cases for how the top color, in this case yellow, is arranged. And there's seven algorithms that you need to know, so I'm gonna show you them now. So there's just two things I need to say before I show you the seven algorithms. So the first is that I've done white, so the color that will be on top when I've solved is yellow. So I'm going to say yellow to mean the color that's on top. If you've done another side, that's fine, but whenever I say yellow, you'll just need to know the color that will be on top for you. The second thing is that when I show the algorithms, there's going to be letters like this on screen. This is called notation, and it shows you what moves to do if you can read it. But if you can't, don't worry, you don't have to know it. This is the first case. 
where there's two yellow pieces, correct, and to your right. And then there's one piece at the front and one piece at the back. So you move it up, across, down, across, and then down, and then you move the front side up and the front side back. This is the second case, where again you have two pieces and you hold them to your right, but the two other pieces are to the side, like this. So you move the front side, then you go up, across, down, across, and then you move the front side back. This is the third case, where you have two pieces, correct, like that, and then you have two pieces facing outwards. So you want to hold it like this, where you have two pieces like here, one piece to your front and one piece to your right. So you do front, down, front, up, and then across, up, across, down. This is the fourth case where there is no piece correct, and you have two yellows here and two yellows at the back. So for this case, you do up two, and then you go across two, down, across two, up two. This is the fifth case where, like the fourth case, there is no piece correct, and there's two yellow pieces at the front, but instead of being at the back, the yellow pieces are on the two sides. So, in this case, you want to hold it like this, where there's one yellow piece here, and then there's two here, and you go front, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, and then that. The sixth and seventh cases can both be recognised by one piece in the top being correct. You want to hold that piece to your front left, and look at the piece that's to your front right. The yellow colour will either be on the front or to the right. In this case it's to the front, so you want to go up, across, down, across, up, across, two, down. So alternatively, when you have one piece correct, you might have the other yellow piece here to the right. So in this case, you want to move it like this, where this piece is at the back, and you've got another piece on the right here, and you go up, across two, down, across, up, across, down. Now you should have all the pieces the right way round. The last step is to get them all in the right place, and there's only two algorithms for this step. The first case is where two pieces next to each other are correct. You can tell this by having two colours next to each other correct, and everything else not. You want to hold these two pieces to your left, and do this algorithm. Up, across, down, front, up across, down, across, down, then front, up to, across, down. The second case is a diagonal swap. So you'll notice that each side has two opposite colours on them, but nothing is connected. You can hold this any way you want, and you do these moves. Up, across, down, across, front two, Across, up, across, down, across, front, two. At this point, your cube should be solved. I hope you found this video useful.